Right, just uh, starting the old next vlog. I had it recorded and it ran out of space. I need to delete some videos off the camera so I can put more videos on Twitch, ready to go onto YouTube. What are we going to be talking about today? Technology. Oh, yes. Yeah. Would we be able to live in the way. Would we be able to live, I suppose, in like the 50s and 60s without some of the technology today? Would we Would we actually be able to? And I'm kind of wondering if we could. I mean, I, I personally would probably not, because there'd be certain things that I would miss about living in that time. First of all, you know, I wouldn't have an iPod, so I wouldn't be able to go out there on the bus, you know. As you imagine, let us imagine that we take away anything that wasn't, because... You know, we're taking away things that weren't around in the fixes, and then all all it'd be like is you're all going on the bus to town, and you need it to go somewhere to go around the shops. Oh, where's my iPod? Oh no, hang on a minute, we can't have it because it's not the fixes. Item. I would not be happy. I would miss that, and I would also miss my mobile phone. So I wouldn't be able to text somebody. But one thing that does well. I suppose the technology, it, it, it has to change, and one of the things that has basically um, been stopped over the last few years is actually telephone boxes, because BT decide that no longer people need to use them, and they are becoming um, rare in, in places, I mean, you used to be able to go down country lane roads and things like villages and rare places, and find a phone box. Nowadays, that, that's not the case, because there's actually a case of the fact that people have mobile phones, so they no longer need to go to um, the phone box or use one. They might become a part of town places, they might do. But then again, people might say, but then if you needed to use a phone, you would have a mobile phone. Sometimes you would probably have friends and family you're with and you can borrow their phones if your phone wasn't exactly working so I think telephone boxes will become a thing of the past and that will be a bit of a sad state um, amongst, amongst it. Um, one thing that I don't suppose will ever get rid of at the moment is uh, post boxes. I mean I'm sure we can still go down and find a uh, yes, a phone, a uh, 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 a post box. Oh, great. That makes me think of Postman Pat. Hmm. And he's like a white cat. Yes. A classic cartoon from my day. I love that one anyway. Yeah, so technology. Could we live without today? Because even, even, even laptops, right, they're becoming a thing. Of, I'm not saying they're becoming a thing of the past, but they're definitely becoming big, 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 um, because basically you can now buy these little diddly things which actually enable the, you know, you go into a shop and you've got this like little um, mini, like a mini laptop, so small and tiny you can do absolutely everything on it almost, like word processing and internet and things like that, and I'm thinking to myself, my god, I mean it's like with, with iPhones and things like that, you know, I remember when mobile phones first come out, they were massive, they were huge. They were like these big, really big things. And not many people could afford them, and you you, you would be like a businessman, you'd be on the tube with your big mobile phone, you know, speaking out of it, going, hello, 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 You know, you know, you can just imagine, with a, you can just imagine somebody with a posh voice saying to somebody, oh, ho, oh yeah, hello. Uh, uh, well, well, let's do this again, right? You're on the tube. Just say you're on the tube back in the eighties or whatever, and you've got you've got this light like, posh man sitting next to you, and it and it and it just want to gaze in conversation by. Well, hello there. Yeah, have you seen my mobile phone? Yeah, it's massive. Well, yeah, uh, it's a new thing. But they don't cost, but they don't cost cheap. Like quite expensive to buy. Yeah.
And, yeah, 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 it's just one of those things, isn't it? You know, Al Barbar finds a tiny dog in you. Even, even one of my first, well, my mum's, more, more, one of my mum's first mobile phone was quite big and, and, you know, kids today look at that and think, that is, that is big, big, big. All four compact and slim, that's what I say. Uh, I think, I think we've got to be grateful that the iPod had been invented. I never used a lot of iPods when I, when they first came out, and then PC players, they weren't my cup of tea. But, when my mum got my dad an iPod, this was about three and a half years ago, I, I decided to test it. I uploaded the iTunes onto the computer, I uploaded the songs onto the iPod, loved it so much, I had to have it. My mum had to get another one, which was the same. Only so that we both could have an iPod, because I love the iPod. Anyway, that's all it'll be for now. Technology mumbo jumbo. And I think we can, uh, move along now. Move along! Yes, so, keep watching, and ciao.